Yo, what's going on, shroomies and shroomettes? It's your guy with the fun jive, Easy Blue Thumb, and we are back with another one. And in today's video, I will be showing you how I clone my mushroom fruits to agar dishes. So let's get it. Let's go. All right, so I have been getting asked a lot lately about how to clone mushrooms. And although there is quite a few videos on this, I decided to just make one for the people that enjoy my content. So here we are. I have selected two fruits that I will be using for my cloning. Now, these fruits came from an original clone transfer that I took in the beginning stages of my mycology journey. So I'm very proud of how these babies came out. So I'm going to show you on this fruit right here exactly what we're going to be looking for when we make our cloning cut. See all of that whiteness in the stipe? That's what we want to clone. That is going to be our cleanest source to gather our clone material from. So I'm going to go ahead and take this fat boy right here. We are going to split it right down the middle. We already sterilized our scalpel in our handy dandy Easy Blue Thumb induction sterilizer which can be made to order just hit me up on instagram or the discord server i'm just going to go ahead and take some of this stipe material and we are going to just place that onto our agar dish like so go ahead cover it back up and you're all set easy as that and we have our little piece of mushroom material on our agar dish. Now, generally when I'm taking clones, I usually take about four to six just in case. And especially if they're good genetics, you want to keep that in the library for a little bit. And one thing you have to remember when you work with agar dishes and you have very strong genetics, those agar dishes will start to produce mushroom fruits. I've had several produced fruits in less than a month of storage. So be mindful of that or you can just change the temperatures and place your agar dishes in the fridge. And honestly, that is really all that it takes to clone your mushroom fruits. And once you're done, grab your polyfilm tape. Tape down nice and snug. Don't forget to label. And you are good to go. Also, I want to recommend if you are cloning more than one fruit, to 70% ISO your gloves, let them dry before you split open the next type. You don't want whatever was on the previous fruit to be introduced to this fresh material. So we're going to head and place this on our agar dish as well. This one was giving me a tough time to get off, but we got it jammed in there. We're going to tape it up with our micro pose polyfilm. And that's it. Very simple, very easy way to store your genetics and have a beautiful library of magnificent fruit. So as you see, our cuts, I only used one side of the stipe and you can use both sides. Just do not place your hands on the part that you're going to be cutting out. And that is all, folks. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Y'all be easy. Peace. EasyBlueThumb.com is up and running. We have t-shirts, 
hoodies, slides. Go cop your granny a mug while you're at it. I appreciate the love and support. Go check it out. EasyBlueThumb.com Let's go. Thank you.